What's up everyone and welcome back. Driving out, uh, meeting Jess and the kids in town, finishing up last. It's the final Christmas gifts we gotta do. Uh, wrapping it up. This will, I won't have to buy anything else for the season, so that's good. Are you guys excited for Christmas? A anyone excited for Christmas? I am always excited for Christmas. My kids love it, they have a blast. So gonna meet the family and uh, I'll see you in just a minute. <laughs> hey guys. I need it in there. Oh, darn. They didn't have your gift. Oh, but was it? It was a uh, pro fishing bass DVD because I know how much you like to bass fish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're stopping real quick for some dinner uh, called Culliver's. It seems like a clone of like a Dairy Queen. I don't know. Is it good, guys? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look at my nugget. nuggets. Your beast nuggets. They're huge. Some chicken nuggets. strips. That's a mighty burger I, for a I girl your size. I needed a single. I'm, look at that. My Double favorite. with bacon. And you're going all in tonight. It's supposed to be that going all in tonight. <laughs> Getting this night started, right? Check this out. What do you got? Steak sauce in a packet. Oh my gosh. I know, right? <laughs> Departed ways. We're going out, picking out a few things for Jess, and that's going to wrap it up. You guys could have got smushed. <laughs> smushed by a big old SUV. Go faster. Or a big Ford truck. Get a Christmas gift for mom. What are we gonna get her? A ring. A ring? <laughs> yeah. We can certainly look at him. Conrad, what do you want to get her? Conrad, what do you want to get her? This is what I want to get her. A bracelet? Yes. A gold bracelet? Yes. A fake gold bracelet? I want it. Uh... The V stands for? Violet. Violet? Violet, you're turning violet, violet. Open car just flat tired Dale's shoe straight off. Here for me. What you're you're just gonna lay in the road and put your shoe back on? Excuse me, folks. He's putting his shoe back on. Boy, you picked a fine spot to do it. Look at all this traffic. You could have got run over, little buddy. I did it. Not once, but twice you almost got ran over. Conan, how you doing down there? Good. You doing good? Yeah. You got the best seat in the house, kid. It's nice and quiet. Doesn't sound nice and quiet. Just getting back. We have got one of the world's smallest quadcopters in our presence. Dad. Let me focus on this. Give you an example of how tiny it is. Look at this. Look how tiny that is. You know what? We need a quarter. I'll give you an, how, an idea how tiny this is. Look at this. Wow, that thing's... Alright, and my man Connor is going to attempt to fly it. Right, my man Conrad is gonna fly a quadcopter. Have you ever flown a quadcopter? No. All right, so you're gonna need a little help. Out there in TV land, if you've never flown a quadcopter, it's about very small, tiny movements. There's never a lot of full blast, left blast, like it's never full speed anything. That's how you crash. So when you open up your quadcopter this Christmas, just remember, tiny movements on the joysticks. Tiny movements. When we go to power up, Conrad, you're gonna slowly move up. You don't just go full power because it's gonna go straight to the ceiling and then come down and slam the ground. It's gonna break. And then it's gonna break. So when you steer, you want this to just be tiny movements left to right. No hard movements. Give it a little throttle. It's starting to take off. It's moving backwards. Ah! Ah! Got my leg! Houston, in three, two, one. Yep, yeah, that's it. Out of battery. On the charger it goes. Is that fun, Conrad? Yeah. Yeah, you were getting pretty good by the end there. I think a couple batteries worth and you'll be able to fly that thing really well. The manual of this says that it has an advanced mode where you can do flips. While I was flying it, it wasn't in flip mode. So I'm gonna try to change it to do some stunts. All right, well, while that charges, let me show you something. I bought this bulb four-way splitter. So you screw this into an outlet and then you can screw four bulbs into it. I'm gonna shove four LED bulbs into it. That way it's still less energy and it's way brighter. Wow, look at that. That's gonna be bright. So, uh, nine watts each. 
and 650 lumens each. So be 2,600 lumens. That's a lot of lumens. That's bright. That's definitely too bright for right there. I'm gonna move that over here and put that one over there. So bright. So bright. Holy smokes. There we go. Ridiculously bright over there. Nice over here. All right guys, as a brief follow up to this upside down drumming video, uh, let me first just say, it was awesome, but very painful. Uh, not the head rush, not the blood being in my head. I know my head looked really red and really painful, but my head really wasn't painful. As soon as I would flip upside down, Maybe one to three minutes, it would actually feel like there's a lot of pressure in my head, and then I'd be fine. I could hang there for a long time, but it was my shoulders. Those straps were cutting into my collarbone, and I'm actually, I feel really lucky that I didn't break my collarbone. They're still extremely sore. I had half inch knots sticking off of my collarbones, like out of my skin, and my, my shoulder muscles and everything, like them straps just tore them up. But this is something I have literally wanted to do for at least 15 years and I really haven't seen many people do it. And I've seen Tommy Lee do it, of course, on his roller coaster and on these huge ridiculous sets. And uh, my thought was, how many people even get to try to attempt it to even see if you can do it? And it's been one of those things in the back of my mind for years, like, I need to do this. It was, it was a riot. Uh, I do have some plans to make it really nice and easy and a little safer. For this rig, I have found a small electric hoist. It's like a mini crane hoist that'll lift a thousand pounds for like 200 bucks. And then for this safety rope, I found a uh, auto drop uh, or a uh, fall protection device, uh, basically where if it senses any fast movement, kind of like a seat belt, it locks up for about 200. So for about $400, I could have a hand remote so I can lower and raise myself, and then I could have an automated fall protection thing. See, over here, someone has to be here to pull the rope down through the locking cam. And I need someone to release it, so what I'm gonna do is, I, I looked this up, and maybe someone has one laying around, probably not, but like a roller coaster seat with the big pads that come down around you, and then I need a backrest so that I can be held in position. One of the problems was, and I couldn't use double pedals, is that as soon as I was pushing with my feet, I would just rock backwards, and then I couldn't play at all. So I had to lock in with one foot and play with the other foot, whereas if I had a backrest that was for sure held in place, then I could double pedal and I'd be in the right position to actually play. And just so you all know, my face was ridiculously red and veiny and awkward looking and those were the good shots. There was far worse ones. I looked bad in some of them. First time I flipped over, it looked bad. It looked really bad, but you guys didn't get to see that. Maybe I just wanted to recap on that. If you have not seen that video, it was the last video I posted. Check it out. Uh, I think it's fantastic. One of my greatest works so far, just because I've always really wanted to do it, and it was extremely difficult to pull off, so I to toot my own horn, but I really enjoyed it. I think by now the quadcopter may be charged. Let's go check. Look at this. Roman accidentally left his shirt here. My shirt now. Totally my shirt now. What? No crushed ice? What is this manner of madness? Oh, it's working now. I just fixed it. Woo, doggy! For flight number two? Right. Yeah. All right, whoa! Sucker just hit my eye. Meow, meow. All right, here we go. We're gonna try the flip function on the world's smallest Quadcopter. Yeah. Whoa! All right, that was, I don't even know what direction that went. It's so tiny. 
Oh, I saw that. Yeah, that was cool. Can I try that? You want a side flip? You got a side flip. Whoa. Now right, let's try a back flip. Back flip. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Alright, Dale's gonna try. Ah, hold on, wait! Oh my god! Wait! We need quad cup to Tilly. one on one. Maybe we should have safety glasses. Yeah, I think we should have safety glasses. Like this. There's a pair right here. Oh! We have uh, put some safety glasses on. Again. What? <laughs> okay, Conrad's taking flight. Nice. Driving. Yeah, you are. I did it! I was driving it! Whoa! Uh oh. I did a flip. Uh. It's got, it's got carpet yarn in it. These things won't fly right with the tiniest little hair in the propellers. A little more, a little more. There you go. That thing just, whoa! Ah, more power. Yeah, you need more, you're underpowered. More power. More, 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 even more, even more, even more, more, faster. The good news is this thing's so small and so light that it's not breaking oh yet, gosh. and we're putting it through. Oh. Oh. Uh, spoke too soon, just broke a propeller. Peace. Yep. There we go. He's brand new. He's brand new. I think we should put him away. Put him away while he still works? Let's, let's at least put him back on the charger, that way it'll be ready. It's still doing that. Oh my gosh. All right guys, this is kind of funny. Uh, there's a game that Dale's been playing. It was free to download, I believe. It's called Paragon. And basically, and basically each one of the matches take like an hour and a half to complete. Well, one of the nights we made him get off the game and it gave him a penalty of like, how, it was like 500 hours. Yes. It was a 500 hour penalty that, where you can't play the game. And it says, matchmaking is disabled because you were inactive in a match for too long. If you disconnect from a match, you only receive this penalty if you don't rejoin the match quickly. So because we made him get off the game, they gave him a 500 hour penalty. Guys, games, should not be like that. You shouldn't be penalized for it. Life is more important than a video game. And if you can't bounce to and from a video game, Paragon, I don't mean to throw you under the bus because your game is actually pretty cool. But people have lives. You, I mean, that's ridiculous. Yes, he still has uh, 143 hours. What? And that was like a month ago. Yeah, a month. That was easily a month ago and he still can't play. You know, Stan? Like they want to try to make people finish the round, but that is ridiculous. All right guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe. Thank you again so much for watching. I'll see you next time.